what's going on gas gang? Today, we're back with another high octane showdown between two completely different but crazy vehicles. Today, sleeper work van meets tuned hot hatch and it's gonna be nuts. So stay tuned and let's get it. Welcome to Officially Gas. For the best in universal premium ester containing engine oils and fuel additives for both petrol and diesel engines, check the links in the description. So welcome back once again to the OG Battles, where we pull up and let our builds do the talking. And today it's an all German affair and we've got Volkswagen's most iconic hot hatch stepping up against, well, Volkswagen's not so iconic small work van. <laughs> but trust me, this little van is nothing like your average, meaning if you sleep on it, you're gonna be seeing its tail lights. So buckle up, cause you're in for a ride. And in partnership with Race Logic, we're gonna be carrying out two sets of races. First up today, it's a quarter mile roll race. Next up, it's a drag race to the quarter mile. All races are best of three and the V-Box Performance Box Touch will be recording data such as 0 to 60s, quarter mile times and more to give you guys the stats on how this savage trio perform. Let's get over and meet the builds and their owners. So first up today, welcoming Anton from Level Up Giveaways back to the channel, representing for the Hot Hatch community with his insane 2 litre, 4 cylinder, turbo powered stage 3, 500 brake horsepower, 620 newton meter, Mark 7 Golf GTI Club Sport, built by Headshop UK and tuned by Devil Developments. Modifications include a forged engine, a Fastline FL 530 turbo, a 4 inch track slag downpipe, a Revo intercooler, an APR hard pipe kit and intake, and an uprated low pressure and high pressure fuel pump. The GTI is running on Michelin PS4S street tyres all round and weighs in at 1375 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 363 brake horsepower per tonne. The GTI drives its front wheels only via its six speed manual transmission. And he's going to be stepping up against and welcoming Jake back to the channel, representing for the work van lovers in his bonkers 2 litre TFSI four cylinder turbo swapped. 530 brake horsepower, 670 newton meter Volkswagen caddy van built by Jake himself at Job Automotive and tuned by the Anglia Tuning Center. Now this crazy little work van actually left the factory with a 1.6 litre diesel engine producing a whopping 101 brake horsepower. But since then, a lot has changed and modifications include a fully forged 2 litre TFSI engine, a TSR Sidewinder Manifold and Pulsar 3076 Gen 2 Turbo Kit, a tile 44mm wastegate, a job custom turbo back exhaust system, a Perron front mount intercooler, Audi S3 plus 30% injectors and an AKS high pressure fuel pump conversion. The van's running on Eagle F1 AS6 street tyres and is estimated to weigh in at around 1450 kg, giving it an almost identical power to weight ratio as the Golf of 365 brake horsepower per tonne. The Caddy also drives its front wheels, however, via its Wavetrack LSD equipped 6 speed manual gearbox. All right, guys, so crazy matchup right now. Welcome back to the channel, in fact. Hello, mate. We've got the crazy TFSI van, and um, you've pulled up to do some gapping today, I believe. Try to. We'll see what happens, but yeah. It might just be Spin City again. Obviously, last time when we were actually on the channel, mm -hmm. we realised that we're in low boost. Uh, but hang on, let's just take that in for a second, people. So the, the, the feature you guys may or may not have seen of me going out in this van, we were on low boost we're, the whole yeah, time. Yeah, 1.7 bar at 425, and now we're at 2.1 at 535. And it was rapid in low boost. So, yeah. listen, roll race, drag race. How do you reckon you're going to get on today? Uh, roll race, I reckon, with the gear. Obviously, I'll swap the gearbox back over to the petrol one. I reckon, yeah, it should be all right. I'm just a bit weary with a dragon. Obviously, something might break. We never know. Okay, okay. But, yeah. It's all right, bro. Full send, yeah, isn't it? Full send. Full send. Send it. Okay, all right, listen. Welcoming the main man back to the channel now, Anton from Level Up Giveaways. Let's go. Listen, on. before we talk about cars, any competitions ending tonight, bro? Yeah, always, always good prizes in tonight. Okay. Every day, actually. Okay. No? Where can yeah. I find you? In the, in the description? Yeah, in the description. Yeah. So, links to 
a mad competition ending tonight in the description. Check it out. I'll leave it in a pinned comment too. Anyway, bro, you got your work cut out today and I feel like you might get gapped <sighs> by a van. I feel like that too, but... <laughs> I've was it? Hang on. Four losses so far in the battles here. Four losses, and I'm about to take a win, actually, to be fair. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm feeling confident. Okay. I'm feeling confident. Okay. No, I don't know. Um, I'm not a driver, so this car's manual. I can sit in and paddle shift all day. Okay. Driving stick now is long for me. Okay. But I'm going to give it my best. All right, I'm going to cool. give my best. Okay, all right. I need to, really. Okay, so you reckon drag race, roll race? Um, I think I will do right in the drag. Okay. I'm not too sure about the roll. Okay. I think I might get off better. Cool. Have yes. you seen the video of this? Yes. Man. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to double check. Just wanted to double check. Anyway, whatever happens today, it's going to be a sick race. So thank you both for turning up no and uh, let's race. And as usual, we're going to be battling it out for the revered Sugar Coat Cup and a full set of its ultra effective, super sweet smelling ceramic waterless washes. And you can grab yours today. Links in the description. OG20 for that good discount. Let's go. First up, it's the roll races, but before we get cracking, let's get a few sound checks. Right. Time to redeem myself, hopefully. So it's going 40 miles an hour, yeah? 40, yeah? Now, the roll races work like this. The vehicle on the left sets pace, they agree a start speed, and the vehicle on the left sets it. It's then the guy on the right's job to make sure he stays by its side. As soon as they hit that start marker, it's go time. Mr. Gero. Oh! That one's hard to say. I feel like the van could not keep pace properly on that one. So it looks like Anton went first, but no, he's the pace setting car. But it looked like the van might have ran him down. I might be wrong. Let's just find out. Finish line, finish line. Who won that race? We're just looking re, we're just re looking at the footage. It looks as if the Golf won it by one bumper. That is literally it. It looks like Anton crossed the line just before the van. It was extremely close. Whoa! He won it by one bumper, not two. <laughs> See, I've been losing because I've been in an automatic. When I'm in control, I win. You see? I'm not getting too gassed yet because that was the first, that was the first race. Alright, exactly. right, guys, that was uh, all good. Anton, you just hit that by a bumper. Uh, Jack, you need to um, pace better, mate. You're way behind. If you had started in line, you would have won that race. So can you make sure you're... Finally, Anton, you need to pace better. Yeah, I'm trying to pace better. Well, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Yo, what a dramatic first race with the van and GTI going back and forward the whole way to the line. But Anton and the GTI just managed to take the win by a bumper. Madness. Let's line them back up and go again.
I don't know. I d I'm gonna say Van. I'm gonna go Van that time. I feel like that start was a little bit better. So I'm gonna say Van. Finish line, who won that race? And in another dramatic ultra close race to the finish line, Anton just makes it to the line first, taking a win once again by a bumper. Mad. Jamie, can we do one more? Just, can we do one more if possible? Yeah, if, if that's all right. I understand you've won both of the races, yeah, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's Sounds like you've won too. He's not sounding too convinced though. Not my man, the Jamie. finish line. All right, cool. You want to run one more? One more. You're a good sport, you. You're winning, bro. <laughs> this is the first time you're winning, yeah? Don't ruin it. I'm getting a bit too excited, innit? All right, all right. All right. You want to go again, yeah? Yeah, is that all right? All right, cool. Fine. Is that all right, yeah? The starts are just a little off for everyone's liking so far. And with the finish line so close, we're gonna run one more to make sure we're seeing the correct outcome. Let's get it. too excited I've, lo I've lost that many times I don't know the start I feel like they both went a little bit early I, I don't know if it was the van that went a little bit early and Anton tried to match him going early or what but then it looked to me like the golf drove back round the van I heard a lot of red line coming from the van sound like a Honda and uh, I don't know who won is the long and short of it finish line finish line who won that race? The Golf won that race by a car length. Ooh, there you go. And with a mischief from the van, the Golf drives round him and takes the win once again by around a car and a half's length. I'm smiling right now, Anton. <laughs> <laughs> you might take a, you might take a win today. <laughs> I need that sugar coat. All right, so let's just take a look at the best 100 to 200 kph times achieved by the pair during the runs using a V-Box PBT. And the van actually proves to be the faster of the two on a roll, going 100 to 200 in 8.62 seconds. The Golf GTI manages a best 100 to 200 not too far off pace of 9.23 seconds. However, neither vehicle quite fast enough to chart amongst the Elite 15. That's data to confuse the results. But we all know it's first to the line, not the fastest time. And round one goes to Anton and the Hot Hatch community. Next up, it's the drag races. And with both sending all their power to the front wheels, it's gonna be a spin fest. Place your bets. Ready, ready, set, go! <laughs> peddling going on there. Boy, I, I'm going to say the van. It feels like Anton just left it spinning or sitting on red line one or the other for a long period of time there. I'm going to say the van won that. Finish line, finish line. Who won that? The winner is the Golf by about half a car length. Oh! 
That's a twist. Mad. It's third again. Oh, it's Mr. Gear. Literally, third gear, just nothing would not go in. So it was just like, as soon as that happened, oh. And after an absolute pedal fest, once again, Jake misses a gear and gets driven round and beaten to the line by a car's length. Crazy. Seems like Anton was also having some issues with his clutch pedal there, but let's line them back up and go again. I'm going to leave traction on this time. Ready, ready, set, go! Traction on did not do the job for the van that time. Anton's on full send mode. Uh, the van, not so much that time. Sounding like a Honda, so it sounds mad because noises like that should not be coming from a van. However, I believe the Golf just cleaned up. Finish line, finish line. Who won that race? And the winner was the Golf. And that is all she wrote. But I won't give me my money. About a train. <laughs> That's a train. And Anton trees Jake, showing him a direct route to Gappy Stan, taking a win by a train's length. Ouch. And that was all she wrote. So let's take a look at the fastest quarter mile and zero to 60 times achieved by the pair during the races using a V-Box PBT. And the Golf proves the faster of the two, covering the quarter mile in 13.59 seconds at a speed of 116 miles per hour. The van, just outpaced, runs a best time of 13.89 seconds, but at an identical speed of 116 miles per hour. However, neither vehicle quite fast enough to chart with the top 15. And then taking a look over at the fastest 0 to 60 times achieved, the van this time proves to just have the edge, running a best time of 5.84 seconds. The Golf, only just a tad slower, hit 60 in a best time of 5.91 seconds. However, neither car quite fast enough to chart amongst the 0 to 60 top 15. And both rounds go to Anton and the Hot Hatch fanboys. He lifts the Sugarcoat Cup, taking his first official win here at the Battles and also takes home a full set of Sugarcoat's ultra effective, super sweet ceramic waterless washes. Congrats, my bro. So today, we lined up two completely different builds for science sake and with some ultra tight races in the rolls, showed for the most part how closely matched these two builds actually turn out to be. The Golf just managed to shine a little brighter in the drags today, helping Anton, after many appearances, to finally, finally take his first overall victory here at the Battles. Today, it wasn't a van's day, but it's a van. So putting things into perspective, it didn't do too bad at all. A massive shout out to both lads for turning up and laying rubber for the culture. So guys, as usual, let me know down below in the comments if you'd prefer to be tearing around in Jake's sleeper work van or Anton's GTI and why. And if you have enjoyed today's races, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss another battle by smashing that notifications bell. And we'll be back same place, same time with another crazy OG battle. Peace out.